peeps, it's Sam. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions for you on the Stila, what is it called? Let's have a look here. I just got a sample of it from Sephora. It's the Stila All Day Foundation and Concealer. So it has the, the foundation on the bottom, the concealer on the top. I'll probably insert it somewhere in here or on my blog of what the actual thing looks like because I just got a sample. I'm going to be doing my first impressions today of what I think about it. The price I will put somewhere here so that you guys can know for the full bottle. You can get it at Sephora, I believe Ulta, um, online. So I picked my sample up from Sephora. So I will be showing you the what I think about the concealer and the foundation. So just keep on watching and I'll show you how to apply it and my thoughts, etc, etc. I will also be checking back throughout the day to let you guys know how it's wearing and what I think. Thank you! Okay, so I just got a sample of it, and the color that I got is Tone. I just put self-tanner on, so that's why I'm trying this out today, because you can see it's got a little bit darker of a color. I'm hoping it's not too orange. Nobody wants to look like a Oompa Loompa. So I am just going to take a little bit out of this. So I'm just going to take that much right now, and we're going to see how it goes. So I'm just going to apply it with my Sigma F88. Well, so far the coverage seems to be nice. It has a really nice scent. It's kind of, oh, what is that? It's, I think, kind of florally, but nothing like, whoa, crazy, but it's definitely got a really, a very pleasant scent, so that's kind of nice. Just gonna kind of blend it down my neck. The color seems to be matching pretty well. Okay, so you can see that side of my face has got foundation, this side does not. The color matches perfectly into my neck. You can see I do have a giant zit right here, which is so beautiful. Um, it's kind of covered it up, but you can still see it a little bit, so I definitely would have to go over that area a little bit. So this was just with one coat, and I would say it's got a great coverage. I mean, it's really covered up you know, a decent amount of what I wanted to cover. Everything looks even. Um, you can still kind of see a little bit of discoloration in my pigmentation right here. And of course, my little zit friend. It's definitely blending very nicely. It's not got a tacky or a sticky texture at all. So it's gliding on with the brush really, really easily, which is always nice. It's not drying super quickly. So you can see it's not covering up the little zits that I have which is kind of a shame. So I'm just gonna get a tad bit more and just kind of stipple onto the areas that I have more to cover up. So kind of underneath my under eyes where my pigmentation problems are. And then on this delightful little zit here. With that second coat, you can tell it's covered my zit up a lot better. This one's still peeking through a tiny bit, but everything looks really, really even. Um, it's looking really nice. It's got kind of a nice finish. It gives you like a, you can see my skin still has a bit of a glow. Let's see up close what it looks like. Up close, it actually looks really, really nice. My skin, it looks like skin. It doesn't look like it's being covered up with a bunch of makeup. Uh, you can still kind of see my freckles coming through on my nose a little bit, but nothing major where it looks bad. Um, it's definitely a beautiful finish. I would say it's a satin finish, and it has a nice glow for sure. Okay, I'm also going to try the concealer that it comes with on the top. And the concealer is a little bit lighter. It, oh, it feels very thick. It's quite a, a thick, whoa, it's kind of tacky almost. I don't know if you guys can tell how it's really, really thick and creamy. So I don't know how much, oh, you, you don't need very much at all. So I'm just gonna pop that underneath. It's definitely tacky for sure. It feels quite thick, so this feels like it might set into my fine lines. We'll see, I'm just gonna blend it out with my P88 from Sigma. Yeah, it's kind of a really heavy consistency. Very thick and really like tacky. I definitely think this would need to be set. I really, I like lighter kind of real thin concealers. 
So for me, this is definitely not something that I would want to use on a regular basis. As you can see, it's just brightened me up and kind of contoured already. But if I touch, oh yeah, it feels sticky. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I will be back to let you guys know how I like it. Okay, so I've applied the rest of my makeup. The color, if you're a self tanner or if, if you're a spray tanner or whatever, definitely matches really well because it has that warmth. I don't want to say orange, but it definitely has that kind of warmer tone to it. Sometimes if you have self tanner on and then you put a foundation on, it can tend to look ashy where your face doesn't match your body. So this really matches super duper well. Everything blended on really, really well. I did set the concealer and as of right now, it's really nice. I'm just going to go ahead and get my mirror and really take a close look. So everything is looking really nice. It looks like skin. It has a nice kind of satin finish. The under eyes are not wrinkling but because I set it. My blush applied really nicely on top. Everything just blended out really well over it. So, so far I'm really impressed. The I will just have to let you guys know how it wears throughout the day. If it oxidizes, how it lasts, does it go blotchy or whatever. So I don't know what time it is right now. I think it's around noon and then I'll keep checking back throughout the day to let you guys know what it looks like and what I'm thinking of it. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back. It is 8.08. Can you see that? Yes, you can. 8.08. Let's have a looky. Okay, so um, I'm definitely really, really oily. I don't know if you can tell here, over here, like it's it's kind of all over, it's not even in the T-zone, it's like even kind of over towards the side of my cheek. My chin is definitely very oily. My forehead is like greaserama. So definitely if you're someone who's really, really oily, you might want to at least blot or touch up with powder or both throughout the day. As far as uh, the longevity of it, is that how you say that word? I hope so. It's lasted really, really well. There's no splotchiness, there's no blotches, there's no it falling apart or getting lumpy or bumpy or gross. Everything is exactly where I put it earlier. So it's been eight hours already. I do notice a tiny little bit of uh, kind of foundation has come away from the tip of my nose, but I did kiss Jay, so I'm assuming that's probably what it's from, from me rubbing my nose up against him. I must say, like, I, I can't say that I felt like I was wearing foundation all day. It didn't feel like, oh, gross aroma, cake face, or anything like that. It felt very natural. Um, there's no under, I set the under eyes. So um, that is actually the only place that doesn't really have powder or have oil. Um, but there's, it didn't go into my wrinkles or crease or anything like that. So it still looks really, really nice under there. So yeah, overall, I'm really impressed. I also took a picture with my um, camera for flash, which I will insert. So I will come back at the end of the night. For me, that's a long time from now. Yeah, as far as this being on for eight hours, honestly, all I would need is to just touch it up with some blotting pet paper and then maybe just touch up a little bit of powder if I was really concerned about it. Um, honestly, for me, I would just blot it with paper and then I'd be good. And it doesn't seem to have settled into my fine lines and wrinkles, which is also really, really nice. So, so far, eight hours. Okay, I'm back. It's the end of the day. It is now, let's take a looky here, 11.49. Um, okay, so let's check my makeup. As you can see, my eyeshadow has creased. It's been on for a long time. I can't even add right now. When did I start? 12, and now it's 12. What's that? 12 hours. <laughs> so my makeup has been on for 12 hours. So honestly, it looks almost exactly the same as it did at 8 hours. Um, there's a tiny little bit more wear on my nose, but I kissed Jay again and my nose rubbed off on him. Everything else pretty much looks exactly the same. I never touched it up. I never did blotting papers or powder or anything, I just left it the whole entire day. Um, so you guys can see it's still there, it's it's still pretty much ex covering everything that it was supposed to cover in the beginning other than my nose just getting rubbed off. I would say, oh okay, so it does transfer. So if you do touch your face a lot, luckily I've gotten pretty good. But if you do touch your face, it will transfer a little bit. Um, so keep that in mind, but it's nothing horrible. 
you can kind of blend it back out and it's okay. Um, I would say that this foundation would be great for, it's tough to say if it would be okay for dry, I think it would actually be okay for dry skin because it hasn't like bunched up in any spots or anything. So I'd say dry, normal, normal to combo. I feel like if you're oily, um, like super oily, you would definitely want to keep powder and blotting papers around. I don't know, I wouldn't say it's the best at, at oil control. Um, but it's definitely a medium to full coverage foundation. You can build it up or you can wear it a little bit more sheer. Um, but it's definitely not a sheer coverage foundation. I'd say it's medium. Um, it's got a satin finish. Lasts really, really well. I mean, it's been on for 12 hours now. And it's still looking, I mean, I don't look great. But it's definitely not horrible. It didn't go splotchy. It didn't get weird. It only, I wouldn't say it really oxidized too much. At all. So yeah, I'm actually really impressed with this. I would give it, I'd give it a seven and a half out of ten. Um, the reason that I don't give it a full ten is because of the oil. You know, it did get a little bit greasy, um, and the the fact that it transfers. You know, uh, you can definitely feel it on your skin when you touch your face. And I prefer something that I feel like if I touch my face, it's not going to get swiped off. I hope that's helped you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Let me know if there's any other uh, first impression videos that you'd like to see of some foundations or new products, whatever. Just let me know in the comments below. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Mwah.